we finally have a timeline on the new refrigerants that will be coming out and when you're going to be able to buy the products with these new refrigerants in them. Up to this point, if you've been keeping score, uh, we've done videos on the AIM Act and the phase out of 410A refrigerant, but up to this point, we have not had a specific timeline, a specific date that we would see products that are going to be rolled out to the public to you know, be purchased. During the making of this video, if you buy a heating and air system, it's still gonna have 410A refrigerant in it. So, you know, that's one thing that uh, we've had questions about. We've had people comment on our videos about because they're wondering, they're hearing all this stuff. They're hearing that 410A is going away, but when is this stuff coming out? Maybe they want to go ahead and make the leap. Maybe they want to go ahead and buy the equipment with the new refrigerant in them. And so here, uh, just in the last couple of weeks, we have a our article that's come out that is talking about how the EPA has a proposed rulemaking dealing with the plans to ban 410A refrigerant. So, you know, this is the first time we've, with this whole phase out thing, we've had a, a, a specific timeline. I did a video on that where we talked about this year, we're gonna phase out 410A by 10%. And then by, you know, this next year or three years later, we're gonna be at this percent. And by the year 2036, 410A refrigerant, with all refrigerants really with HFCs will be phased out by 85% in the US. Well, this is the first time the EPA has proposed anything with an actual timeline that says this is the date that the new stuff needs to be out, that you need to stop making the equipment with this old refrigerant in it, the old refrigerant being 410A. And so this new proposed rule has two stages. The manufacturer or import of the products would be prohibited by either 2025 or 2026 the reason there's two years is it depends on the type of system you have. If you're watching this video and you have, you know, a home, you're looking at, you know, replacing a typical residential heating and air system, air conditioning with the refrigerant in it, then it's going to be the 2025 number. It's not going to be that later number. That later number is going to be for, you know, VRF systems and some, you know, other sectors of the market like refrigeration and transport refrigeration, things like that. Um, you know, I'm not going to get into all of that. Maybe we'll do a video on what falls on what year. But basically, if you're watching this video and you're a homeowner and you are purchasing a heating and air system for your home, it's going to be that 2025 January 1st by 2025. That would be the first of the two stages. And then the second of the two stages would be a year later, a prohibition on the sale, distribution, offer for sale or distribution, export and other activities pertaining to these products. And so the EPA has a process. They come out with this and then they have a public hearing. I'm going to put a link down in the description of this video to the public hearing that they're gonna be having. And the EPA will accept comments on this proposal for the next 45 days after publication. So what does this mean for you as a homeowner? I think what it means is we now finally have a deadline. A lot of folks were misinformed or just simply not reading or, or following you know, what is actually coming out information wise. And we've even had people comment on our videos saying, well, Josh, you know, the new standards where the SEER ratings are going up. The SEER 2 rating is now coming into effect January of 2023. And that's when the new refrigerant would be out. And, you know, the, obviously that's not the case. And so we did a video that went through that. This is the first time we actually had a timeline where the EPA is saying, look, this is going to be the the date that we want this, you know, this equipment won't be sold. And so that means uh, leading up to that, the manufacturers need to get their butts in gear and, you know, have these products coming out, being able to be purchased, hopefully, right, in a perfect scenario before then. So this is the first time we've actually had that set in stone date that they're saying that this is going to be the date that everything needs to be switched over by, you know, by then everything should be switched over. And I would say, and I think you would probably even agree with that most homeowners, if they are in the market for a heating and air system, they're not wanting to, you know, buy the old refrigerant stuff anyway, you know, as long as they don't have to. Now, again, during the making of this video, you have no choice, but as we move closer and closer to that deadline, as these products come out, you're gonna see folks, you know, make that switch. Now, I don't know if we're gonna see a price increase. We probably will. They look for any reason to raise prices these days. Even with this new efficiency ratings kicking in for 2023, we saw where they were taking the same exact systems 
that had a SEER 1 rating, and it's the same exact system, same amount of metal, same amount of paint on the unit, same amount of refrigerant, it's the same exact system, but now it has a SEER 2 rating attached to it, and so all of the manufacturers across the board are saying, now with the new standards, we're raising our prices again. So that just tells you that they're gonna look for any reason to raise their prices, and that'll be the case with this new refrigerant as well, if I was to guess. Time will tell, right? Anyway, the point is, uh, you know, they've now finally rolled out a date. That date is not set in stone yet, but, you know, if anything's like it has been in the past, when they roll out a date like this, they're going to take comments and, and so on from the public, but this is probably going to be, you know, the date that it's going to happen. And through this whole AIM Act and the phasing out of 410, if you have a 410A system right now, uh, don't lose sleep. You still have time. It's not like that, you know, as soon as these new systems come out, you're no longer going to be able to get 410A refrigerant for your system anymore. But as the years go on, you know, as we see the phase out of this refrigerant, just like refrigerants in the past, like R22, you're going to see the price of it go up, you know. So during the making of this video, whatever that price is now, as time goes on, you'll just see it start to bump up more and more as it becomes harder to get, you know, that supply and demand kind of thing. And so we're about to wrap up, but the last thing I wanted to point out is unlike the recent change in California where they said that, you know, they were going to enact where systems could not be sold with a GWP level of 750 or above, this new rule coming out from the EPA has gone even further and said that nationwide, they don't want systems sold above 700. So 700 is gonna be your GWP rating. Obviously 410A is much higher than that. And so you're gonna see these new refrigerants have to meet those types of standards. They're going after it all. You know, This is not just residential systems. They're going after chillers, they're going after ice makers, they're going after whatever, you know, anything that creates cold uh, air or water or whatever, uh, this is going to affect that in the next, you know, several years. The other thing that's interesting is with that whole 700 GWP, with some of these other products like chillers or ice makers, we are seeing a different GWP rating being attached to those. So, you know, some of them, being as low as 150, where they're saying that if you have an industrial refrigeration system that, you know, the highest GWP you're going to be allowed is 150. So they are really, you know, making these changes. They've now given us a date. They've given us a timeline. And this is a sign of things to come. Again, I'll put that link down below. Let me know your thoughts. We're going to keep a close eye on this as things continue to come out regarding this, but we've been looking for this. We've been wondering how this is going to pan out. What's the date? And we finally have one. So January 1st, 2025, 410A, you will not be able to buy those systems anymore, uh, at least with the 410A refrigerant in them. It could be something similar to R22, uh, where we were able to buy the units for a little bit longer after that, but they were dry charged. They were, you know, they had nitrogen in the unit and then you would have to supply the refrigerant to the systems. Maybe that's how this is going to play out. We'll see, but we now finally have a date on it. That's something we haven't had. So anyway, let me know your thoughts. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.